Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, I, when I have the time, like to go out and putter around in my yard and uh, I have some uh, vegetable boxes set up and I'm growing some vegetables. I got tomatoes and squash and zucchini and uh, cucumbers and peppers out there. And, uh, but also on the back fence, I have this huge honeysuckle plant that grows over from the other side of the of the fence and it drapes down and it looks gorgeous, right? When all the flowers are blooming and everything and then you go out and you pull the honeysuckle out and get a little honeysuckle dew on your, right? The kids love it, I love it, it's great. But I, I noticed that through my fence, there's these vines that have weaseled their way, right? In between the slats on my fence. And uh, I keep going out, and when I cut the grass, I, I pull the vines, and I, I, I trim them up so that when I'm done, there's this perfect fence with no vines coming through. But don't you know, a couple weeks later, I go out to cut the grass again, and those vines have grown through the fence again. They've come through the slats, and they keep appearing on my side of the fence. And I was reading some scripture this morning, devotions, and Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you stay attached to me, you can do great things, but apart from me, you can do nothing. And I look at that and, you know, things in this world may come and uh, uh, pull at us and tug at us and tear us and rip us, right? A and get rid of us. It seems, but if we stay attached to Jesus, words and actions that are thrown our way, well, yeah, they can be painful because we can be torn or whatever, right? We can be hurt verbally. We can have our feelings hurt. But as long as we stay attached to Jesus, we'll grow back. We'll grow back stronger and better our character will be developed, our perseverance will be developed, our faith will be deepened. And because we stay attached to the true vine, we can do great things because of the power that we receive through the risen Christ. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.